a summary on potential energy versus internuclear distance. Here it is. We've got two atoms that are attracting to each other. Remember the way atoms attract, the electrons in one atom are attracted to the protons in the opposite atom. Again, the electrons in one atom are attracted to the opposite atom's protons. These two atoms begin to attract. The electrons are attracting to the opposite proton. We hit a beautiful sweet spot. Here's your summary of internuclear distance versus potential energy. There's a maximum attraction between those electrons and the opposite protons with a minimum repulsion between the, between the electrons. As the atoms get closer, those electrons, all negative, can repel each other. We hit this beautiful point where you've got maximum attraction with minimum repulsion right there. This gives you two important pieces of information graphically. If you go from your x-axis down, that's the bond energy, a potential energy, the attraction, that potential energy, that attraction between those atoms. It also gives you bond length. That's going from the y-axis to uh, this beautiful dip, the trough in this graph. That's your bond length. Now here, that's when we force atoms closer, uh, then they would sit at this greatest potential energy. Uh, it's like taking two magnets and forcing them closer together. The electrons are beginning to repel. So there is your summary. Thank you for watching Old School Chemistry. Please like and subscribe.